Hello again, this is Anthony with Kit Bash Collections. Today I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to build two step platforms to put along the top of these bookshelves so these figures can be more presentable and to clear up space as well at the same time. So for our collection as you can see, we have a ton of action figures that are um, they're just cluttered everywhere, especially on the dioramas here on the in the middle and in the cubby holes and even on the top. So this would be a good solution to uh, clear up some space and make the room look a whole lot better. Here's a good example of the top shelf just being too cluttered. Um, just due to lack of space around this room. So, it's going to be a good idea to, to make these two-step platforms. Just a lot of clutter. A lot of beautiful items just you can't see at the moment. Especially when you're looking at my level, looking up. So. Just as an example of what we're what I'm trying to do here, I'm using these 12 inch GI Joe boxes. They're 12 inches high, two inches wide, and then four about four inches length this way. So having one, two, three, I'm going to just I'm going to make the platform like that. And the rain gutters are actually three by four. So I'm going to put the four inches high this way and three inches this way. So they'll stick out to about six inches, which leaves me still plenty of room to use the front to put figures and then high enough to see the figures without hitting the top of this, this shelf right here. These bookshelves, these are just like your standard bookshelves you get from Walmart. And they're 29, they're 29 and a half inches long and 11 and a half inches wide. So why I chose to cut, uh, why, why I'm choosing to go with the 12 inch step platforms is I can put, I still have plenty of space. I can put um, a platform right there, one right there, and still put something in the middle. For instance, I have a horse right here, or it could be a cannon, and I, you know, so, but the, those shelves don't have to necessarily be 12 inches. They could, they could go all the way across. I just happen to have stuff that I want to put in between. So, it's a good concept. Now that we're at eye level, it's a lot, it's just so much better. It's so much easier to see the figures. You could even see the, the figures in the back before. Now you can see everything. And this is eye level for me right here. Just holding the camera up just a little bit. Beautiful. I bought 10 of these 10 foot rain gutter things. I don't even know the names of them, to be honest. But, uh, and I was trying to look for it. Uh, I couldn't find them at Home Depot, but I found them at Lowe's. And they're three by four. And they, I think they do sell a smaller one, but this, like a two by three or something like that. But it, I had to go with the three by four because I need the height and then the width so the figures won't fall over. So taking this 10 foot long gutter, I measured out 12 inch increments all the way across and then just used a hacksaw to cut it. And I tried using um, a small hand powered saw, but it just turned out to be overkill and it, it actually started chipping the, the plastic. So. Or actually it's vinyl. This is actually vinyl, not plastic, but it started chipping and breaking it. 
So I took three of these, three, three 10 foot gutters to make 10 sets of my two step platforms, um, of which I think they turned out pretty good. So, and what I did, I just, using the 12 inch, you know, one foot increments, I stacked them just like the GI Joe boxes, but I, but I put hot glue, you know, probably about like right here, right there, there and there. And then I just glued it, made sure they were straight. So now I have my back wall. That's my second, you know, the second step, the first step, and then the the no step. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it turned out to be a pretty good idea. It was actually my dad's idea to use these. Um, I was trying to figure out how to do this. I know I knew the height, and I kind of had the general idea of the height and the width of what I needed for these stands, uh, of which we use these little Y stands. And they're about a little over two inches wide on the base, or what is it, diameter? So it looks pretty cool. I was thinking about using wood or styrofoam, or I just couldn't figure it out, but this turned out to be a, compared to the prices of a, a four by four beam of wood or, you know, chunks of styrofoam from online somewhere. I don't even know where to order that. I tried looking for it. But I think the stuff I found was actually pretty pricey as well. This turned out to be a good alternative for a decent price. And now it's time to set them all up. Here's the final product using those rain gutter things. I'm at uh, eye level right now, so it looks pretty good. Um, since they're already white, the gutters, I think it look. I mean, it obviously it matches the background, but the contrast and the colors, it really makes the colors pop out. And I think it looks great, and they're they're pretty. I mean, no, they're solid. They're sturdy. They don't, uh, at least for these figures, they don't, they don't flex at all when you put a little bit of weight on them, as in the figures. I'm on the other side of the room over here, and uh, even though I'm way over here, you know, it still, it still looks really good. Obviously, you know, if I zoom in anymore, it. it you just wouldn't get the realistic point of view, so it looks good. Next order of business is making more of the uh, two-step platforms and putting them all the way across all these bookshelves and all the way across those bookshelves. <laughs> so... I had all I have all the proper supplies to do that. It just takes time to do it. But now that I figured it out, I, I think I can knock it out really quick. So it's gonna be it's gonna look good when it's all said and done. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I um, I know I didn't show off this the United States timeline just yet. Uh, I still have a ways to go with this shelving, but. At the same time, I still have to update some of these figures. So before I present it and with close-ups and proper lighting, I'll, I'll, uh, I'm just going to continue working on that. And then I'll make a video specifically so y'all can see uh, a better view of the timeline figures. But uh, I'll do that soon. I'll make that video soon. So thank you for watching. By the way... These things are called white vinyl 
downspout extensions. So there you go.